Hi you guys, it's Alyssa and I'm back. So today's reading, as you can see from the title, is Does my person that I'm thinking about dream about me? Um, I've been wanting to do a dream related reading for a while now, but I couldn't quite figure out exactly what I wanted to do. Um, so I, I finally decided on this topic specifically and I'm probably going to do more dream related readings in the future if you guys are into them. Um, and if you have suggestions for dream related uh, pick a card readings, um, let me know. Leave a comment. Um, but yeah, I think dreams are really interesting. I love trying to interpret them. Um, I personally... Uh, I, I mean, I have crazy dreams, but sometimes, you know, I get little nuggets of messages in there. But, you know, lots of people get messages through dreams and, um, uh, you know, our, our subconscious mind can, can tell us a lot, you know. So, um, I thought it would be cool to investigate, you know, does my person dream about me? If they do, you know, what kind of dreams do they have and, you know, what do they mean um, and how do they feel about them? That kind of thing. So that's what we're doing today. Um, we've got three different options here. We have one, two, and three. Um, so the item here for group one is this bracelet. It's got like Celtic knotwork on it. I love this bracelet. Um, I went to England a few years ago and my friend bought me this while we were there. Um, I think we were in Whitby specifically. We, uh, we visited Whitby Abbey and there's like a museum there that we went to and they had this um, in the uh, shop there I believe. Um, so that's group one. Group number two is this hematite ring. You guys have probably seen this ring before if you have seen my other videos because I wear it a lot. So that's option two. And option number three is this bat bow. Um, I love this thing. It is supposed to look like bat wings, <laughs> as you can see. Okay, so that's group number three. All right, so take a minute and um, choose your pile. I've already got one card laid down for each group, and that's going to be kind of the overall energy for the reading, okay? Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with um, group number one. So, let me put these off to the side. I just glanced at my uh, phone, and it is 111, so... Um, that's interesting. I don't know about y'all, but I see synchronicities all the time, repeating numbers, um, especially ones and fours, and sometimes fives, but ones and fours especially. Okay, so group one. <laughs> oh, my bracelet is trying to get away. So group one, the number on this card is 11. I just saw the time, 111. Coincidence? Maybe. But um, you got justice here <laughs> for your overall energy um, for this reading. So does your person dream about you? Let's find out. Okay, we've got the Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So right away, I'm getting like outdoorsy um, vibes. I'm seeing a lot of greens. So um, if your person dreams about you, these dreams are probably um, happening outdoors, like in an outdoor kind of setting. We have strength. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Fool. <clears throat> Whoa. We've got Eight of Swords. And, okay. Um, I want this deck. Let's see. So, um, 
think, yes, your person does dream about you. Um, I feel like you and this person have a pretty strong connection. <clears throat> that's, that's, that's a little too many cards. Okay, okay, okay. We have Deep Replenishment. We have Dance with Life. Okay. So, um, your person does dream about you. The dreams that they have about you tend to be very active. There's, like, a lot of action in these dreams. Um, and like I said, I'm seeing a lot of, like, outdoor kind of settings. The Strength card here, plus the Eight of Swords, makes me think that um, a lot of these, a lot of the dreams that they have, w that you are in, um, it's like they're trying to save you from something, or rescue you from something, or vice versa. Um, but I think for most of you, it's like them trying to rescue you, um from, like, a creature or a monster or, like, a, a situation, you know? Um, sometimes, I don't know if you guys have probably had dreams like this, but sometimes, you know, you have dreams about, like, trying to save somebody, for, you know, uh, from, like, a burning building or something, uh, something like that. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, I think I'm going to get a couple cards from this deck. Don't let your past hold you back. Hold your vision. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to pull for now. So... I'm also seeing, like, for some of you, your person dreams about the two of you together, you know, doing things together, but, like, in a different time period or something. Like, <laughs> I'm seeing, like, I don't know if it's, like, a different time period or if it's just, like, a, a different world, like... If it's supposed to be, like, a world from, like, some kind of fictional thing, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm, I am seeing, like, a lot of, like, otherworldly kind of environments and, um, environments that just look like, you know, they're from the past or something. Um, so, so I think that's something that a lot of you guys, um your person dreams about, the two of you <clears throat> together in environments like that. Um, I'm getting that some of these dreams could actually be like visions of the two of you from past lives, something like that. Because with the Justice card, I feel like there is um, some type of uh, soul connection. For some of you, it could be karma-related. For others of you, um, not necessarily. But, yeah, I, I'm, I feel like some of your people are kind of seeing visions of the two of you. Um, or I guess I should say seeing memories. Because it's like their memories from past lifetimes. Um, of the two of you together, and they might not always know that it's you that's with them, because you might look different, you might look like, you know, like you looked in, in a past life, you know what I mean? So, they might not, you might not actually look like yourself in their dream, but I feel like most of the time they know it's you. I don't know if any of you guys have ever experienced this, but I've had dreams before where, um, I'm interacting with somebody, and it's it's somebody I know, but in the dream, they look completely different from how I know them to look. You know what I mean? I feel like that's um, that might be something that's going on with some of you guys's some of you guys's um, people um, in their in their dreams. 
So, interesting. Yeah. I feel like this person has um, a pretty active imagination. I feel, I feel like this is probably somebody who tends to have kind of crazy dreams. Um, and I can totally relate to that. My dreams are usually, or at least they seem to be, um, total nonsense. But, you know, sometimes there is... Uh, there's a message in there, <laughs> you know, to be found. Um, and, and usually they stand that those messages stand out very clearly. Um, but anyway, yeah, I feel like this is someone who with a very active imagination whose dreams are probably tend to be quite, um, unrealistic, very, very weird. Um, but it feels like, you know, when they have dreams about you, a lot of times they feel significant somehow and they wake up thinking like, okay, what does that mean? Um, you know, they just feel as if the dream has some significance and it's, you know, and, they, and they're not sure why they remember it so vividly or why it looked so vivid to them as they were having it or what have you. Okay, so... Um, Hmm. But yeah, I think they are, I think they're having these dreams because the two of you are connected on a soul level. And, um, you know, that's, that's understandable. That happens. Um, but I want to dig a little deeper into that. So let's try that. So why is their person having these dreams though? Six of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles fell out again. <clears throat> Can I get a clarifier for these two cards? Alright. There's the Queen of Pentacles. And, oh my god. A bunch of my cards just fell on the floor. Can I get a clarifier, please, for the Page of Pentacles? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups and Page of Pentacles are both making offers. Um, let's see what else wants to come out. Pentacles. Tons of pentacles. What is with this? I feel like a lot of you guys are earth signs or you're dealing with earth signs. Ace of pentacles. What the fuck? <laughs> um, this person is... If you're not an earth sign, they probably are. Um, but this person, it feels like the connection that you have is very grounded. It's like... It runs really deep. You know, I'm seeing, like, roots going into the ground. Um, so, I mean, that's really, that's really the short, the short and long of it. You know, they, they dream about you because you have that, that soul connection. Um, and I feel like it has lasted over the course of many lifetimes. Um, how do they feel about it, though? How does he feel about it? Okay. So, Three of Cups already came out. We've got the Sun. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I think they, they kind of like that they have these dreams. Um, I'm getting that if you... They like having this, these dreams because they like to be reminded of you. That's what I'm getting for a lot of you guys. Um, it feels like, you know, if you're not in contact with this person, um, it, it feels to me as if they 
they like having dreams about you because it kind of lets them know that you are still, you're still connected, you know? And it feels like this person does miss you, but, you know, um, there's something, I mean, if you're not in contact, then obviously there's something that is, you know, blocking the, the, um, blocking the two of you, but we're, that's not what we're here for right now, so we're not really going to get into that, but, yeah, I think they like having dreams about you because it lets them know that you're still connected to each other, and it's like they don't, they don't want to forget about you, you know, um, so, yeah, that's what I'm getting for you guys, group number one, um, I hope that was, uh, interesting, and I hope it resonated with you, so, um, let me know in the comments, remember to, um, leave me a like, or a dislike, whatever, uh, <laughs> but anyway, thank you, group number two, for watching. I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group number two. Okay, group two. The hematite ring. Um, does your person that you're thinking about have dreams about you? And if they do, um, what are they about, and how do they feel about them, and... What does it all mean? Okay, so your overall energy is the tower. <clears throat> the tower. Something about this connection um, was a pretty big deal. Um, okay. The two of oh, the two of you uh, come in together changed a lot of things, I think, in your life and theirs. We have the star card. <clears throat> we have ten of swords, seven of wands. Oops, that's too many cards. We have the nine of cups. Death, the fool, I'm going to take these cards because I feel like I should. The Two of Swords, the Magician, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and... Hmm. So I think your person does definitely dream about you. And I'm not sure that they're entirely good dreams <laughs> because it feels like... With the two of, uh, with the seven of wands and the ten of swords being here, it feels to me like, um, there's like a defensive kind of energy here. So I think some of the dreams that they have about you are like, <sighs> okay, this is kind of specific, but hopefully, um, I don't know, hopefully it resonates, but I, how would you know? <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to say it anyhow. So, I'm seeing that in their dreams, they are doing something or out somewhere, and then you suddenly appear out of nowhere. And they're like, oh shit, and they try to run they, or, or hide from you or something because... They have things that they know they need to say to you. They know there's unfinished business between you. But they're not ready yet to, to address those things. Okay, Two of Swords. This is like a stalemate. This is somebody being locked, you know, um, unable to make a decision. But then I'm also seeing... That sometimes they have dreams where, you know, it is a positive dream. Um, and I'm seeing, like, you guys, you know, like, stargazing. Like, laying out in a field at nighttime, stargazing. Um, 
just doing like kind of mundane stuff together. Um, and these dreams they like, they enjoy for the most part, but then when they wake up, they're kind of like, oh, because it reminds them <laughs> of the fact that, you know, um, they did something, they screwed up somehow, and they have to fix it at some point. Um, whoa. Yeah. Look at the image on this card. Does that look fun to you? Not really. Um, I don't think so. But, you know, it's like dark and stormy, but through this doorway is like, it looks like a, you know, like a tropical beach. So, it's kind of like, I, f I feel like your, your connection with this person is strained or has been strained. However, there's a lot of potential for it to be fixed. <clears throat> and your person knows this, but I think they're afraid to come forward. Um, and that fear is manifesting in their dreams. Okay. Because, like, they have hope for this situation. Um, I feel like they're just not quite ready yet to, 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 what am I trying to say? They're not quite ready yet to take the steps to transform completely, um, and, you know, manifest, a reconciliation or, or whatever, um, but they have a lot of hope for that happening, and they would like for that to happen, right? We got the Fool and the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles tells me that they're not, they're not thinking about letting this connection go anytime soon. So, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the word, um, okay, here's, here's what I'm being told. It's a little bit masochistic. Um, the extent to which uh, they hold on to this connection. Because it hurts them in some ways, but also at the same time, they love it. Because um, they like you, and they care about you, and they, um, they might even love you, but there are aspects of your connection that are painful to them for, for various reasons. Okay, so, yeah, that's, um, that's the kind of stuff they dream about, and that's how they feel about it. Um, let's see, I want to get some cards now about, like, why they have dreams like this. I mean, we've kind of already dug into why, but I just want to see if there's anything else that wants to come out. Oh, you guys, I've been reading, like, all day today. I took a quick break for lunch. Um, okay, we have Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles. But, yeah, I've been doing personal readings, like, all morning, you guys. And then I wanted to film another video for the channel, so here I am. I am just beat. Okay, so... <clears throat> Temperance and Knight of Pentacles. Why are they having these dreams? Why do they dream about you? I think it's because they have hope for the situation. They have hope that it can be healed and restored. And, you know, there's a part of them that wants to come towards you and make amends for whatever happened between you in the past. Um... Yeah, that's uh, interesting. I want to pull out one of these Moonology Oracle cards. And then I think that will pretty much wrap this one up. Oops, that's more than one. Okay. <clears throat> A time for healing. Yes, we got three cards in this little spread that talk about healing, temperance, star, this one. 
Um, so yeah, it, it feels like... They're, for some of you guys, they are trying to heal this, um, they're trying to heal themselves from something so that they will be good to come back and work with you on healing your connection. And some of them might even be trying to manifest healing of this connection without even realizing it. I mean, for some it could be intentional, you know, if they are manifestors. For others, it's... They're doing it, and they don't know they're doing it. Um, some of you guys, I think, are dealing with someone who's quite empathic. Um, could be a light worker, but like they may not, they may not know. They may not be aware of their, you know, their talents. Um, but you probably are. Um, so. Yeah, group number two. That's your reading. That's pretty much all I'm getting for you guys. Um, I hope this was interesting, and hopefully it resonated with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. This one was um, a bit shorter than the first one. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope I see you next time, group two. We're going to move on now to group number three. Okay. The pink bat bow. Is this not the cutest thing? Or what? Okay. So, your overall energy group three. The ten of pentacles. Lovely. Okay. Where do I want to put that? Right there. Okay. Group three. Does their person dream about them? Does group three's person dream about them? I'm sorry my voice probably sounds really weird. Um, I've been sick, and I'm finally starting to feel better, but I, now I've developed a cough, and it's disgusting. Okay, the magician, the tower. Wow. We keep get, we're getting a lot of repeating cards today. All right, there's the four of swords. Six of Swords, Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles. If we get another six, I'm going to be so excited. Come on. Ah, uh, we got the High Priestess, though. Okay. So, group three... Does your person dream about you, and what kind of dreams do they have? Nine of Swords. Well, um, your person definitely lies awake thinking about you. <laughs> um, let's see. The Devil. Let's get one more. Keep making really disgusting noises. I hope you can't hear them. <laughs> okay. Ten of Cups. That's our final card. Alright. So, group three. Does your person dream about you? Um, well, they definitely think about you a lot. Nine of Swords. This is anxiety, overthinking. Four of Swords. This is contemplation deep thought, um, let's see, yeah, I think so, um, some of you guys, your person actually dreams about, like, going out to eat with you, <laughs> um, it, it, it feels like, okay, <clears throat> I think I need some more cards. I need some more cards. Because they totally, they do, they do dream about you, but I'm, 
I'm, uh, I'm a little bit fuzzy on, like, what, what these dreams usually entail. Um... Give me a little more info. What are these people dreaming about? Oh my god! All right. Imrama, birthing a new age. Okay. So, my cards are going everywhere. Okay. <laughs> so, um, your person, I think your person probably dreams about traveling with you sometimes. I think they dream about... It feels like their dreams tend to be pretty mundane stuff. You know, it's kind of similar to group two. Um, because, like, both of the energies in group two were a little bit tame compared to group one, which was, like, that was, you know, somebody with a, a wild, active imagination dreaming about really crazy, crazy stuff. Um... <laughs> But this one is like, I'm seeing, you know, going out to eat, going into the candy store, um, going to the pool. <laughs> it's just kind of mundane stuff. Um, this one's a bit of a puzzle, guys. Okay. They dream about you. But not very often. That's what I'm getting here. They dream about you, but not real often. Um, I think... I mean, some of the dreams they do have about you are, you know, this mundane stuff. But also, the devil card here kind of tells me... The devil and the tower kind of tell me that... Sometimes they have dreams where you are, like, trying to tear their head off figuratively, maybe literally for some of them. <laughs> um, this is kind of weird now. Okay. Hi, Priestess. What are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me, High Priestess? Give me your knowledge. Okay. We've got nothing will come of this situation. Um, there's this sense of just emptiness, and I'm trying to make sense of it. It's very strange. Um, I know I was saying that it feels like this person has really tame dreams, but I think when it, when it comes to you, sometimes they're... They're just kind of weird. Um, so this is basically the energy that the High Priestess was giving me. Um, and when this came out, it was like, ah, there we go. Um, it's like an empty feeling. It's like, like they're floating around in this void... <laughs> kind of suffocating because there's no oxygen so it's like slowly suffocating this is I know this is weird to listen to but um that's what I'm seeing that's what I'm hearing 
it feels like this person thinks that the, um, your, uh, your relationship with each other is kind of dead in the water, um, and it's like, it bothers them, because, oh, okay, okay, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this is somebody who really, um, was into you, or it doesn't have to be, like, a love interest or anything like that, it could have been just, you know, somebody who, who really cared about you and liked you, and, but, but something happened, and some kind of tower moment occurred, and now the two of you are, there's this rift between you, and they want communication, they want, um, they want a chance, you know, they want you guys to be, to have a, a balanced relationship again, they want success, they want this to, to work out, and they might be, you know, thinking about ways that they can create that, but they don't really know how, and that's where this devil energy is coming in again, they just feel a little bit trapped in this situation, and they, um, they would love to start over, or, you know, just have each other, have you back in their life, and vice versa, um, Yeah, and, and their dreams, they feel kind of hopeless about this situation, and their their dreams reflect that. Okay. So, alright. I'm going to pull some more cards now. We're going to see, okay, how do they, how do they feel about these dreams, and, um, oops. We've got the full, we've got the moon. The moon is like more of that kind of empty, void-like energy I'm feeling right now. Seven of wands, page of wands, page of cups. They, yeah, it, these, these dreams that they have, you know, they wake up and they're like, uh, it just, it just kind of reminds them that, you know, you're not, your relationship's not what it used to be, and that bothers them, it, it upsets them, I think, to some extent, and, you know, it just makes them wish that you could start over, you could try again, pa these two pages, you know, if you're not in communication with this person, it, you know, it makes them think about reaching out to you, um, but then it, it feels like they usually talk themselves out of it, um, let's see what else wants to come out, seven of pentacles, yeah, they think a lot about, this is like a, you know, it, it prompts, you know, uh, nostalgia, you know, they kind of reminisce about, you know, the way things used to be, the thing that, the relationship that you had together. Queen of Wands and the Emperor. Sorry. And the Four of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> So, Four of Swords again, we know what that is. Um, contemplation, deep thought, period of rest though, like a pause. Um, the Emperor and the Queen of Wands, if this person was a love interest at one time, or an ex, or something like that, um, I get the sense that they feel like the two of you 
should be together. Okay? Um, because the Emperor and the Queen of Wands, they're both fire energy, right? The Emperor's Aries Wands are fire. So, it's like, I'm seeing this as, it's almost a match, but they're not exactly counterparts. You know, the Emperor has the Empress card, that is its actual counterpart, and the Queen of Wands has the King of Wands, which is her actual counterpart. So it's kind of like a, a mismatched um, connection here. But it goes together just well enough um, and, and they feel like you're supposed to be together, I think. They feel like you're supposed to be together. Um, and they want that. And Sorry, I'm trying to... Uh, I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to listen here. They... There is something blocking this, obviously. I mean, if this is someone that... If, if you're watching this and you... you um, and it's resonating with you and you know who this is talking about and you're wanting them to be part of your life again and you're asking, like, well, why don't they just come forward? It's because there's something that's blocking them from doing that. Um, like, within themselves. And, um, I, I don't really want to go into that because that's not what this reading is really about. Um, but, yeah. Okay, um, group number, group number three. I think we're almost done here. I want to pull out a personal issue reaches resolution. Yeah, like I was saying, for some of you guys... Your person that this is about is um, going through something, and that's what's kind of keeping them from from you, keeping them distant from you. For some of you, this is just for some of you guys, okay? And I think if it applies to your situation, you'll probably know. All right. Um, but 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 yeah, uh, there's something blocking them that they are they're trying to work through. So. But it's like, it's really slow going and they're, they feel like they're not making any progress. And that, I think that's why they feel like things are so hopeless. You know what I mean? Um, and that's just an energy that they're going to have to pull themselves out of on their own, you know? Okay, group three. Um, that one was a little bit heavier, um, but I hope it was interesting and I hope it resonated with you. Um, leave me a comment down below, give me a like, or a dislike, whatever. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you all. Um, I, I'm, I'm, can I just gush for a second? I'm really glad that I decided to start doing this because I feel like I've met some really cool people this way, and... I feel like, you know, I, I'm, I'm really psyched that I've been able to actually help people with my readings. You know, the, the personal ones and the general ones. Because, you know, I get comments from people that are like, wow, this really, you know, this reading really helped me even though it's general, you know. I really got a strong message from it. And I just love that. I, I live for it, you guys. So, um, if the readings resonate with you, please tell me about it because <laughs> I love to hear your stories. So, yeah, that's about it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Again, keep in mind, I do personal readings. The link to my Etsy store is down below. Um, also, if you want to donate to my channel, there's a PayPal link down there as well. And I have some new decks coming soon. I've got um, the Wildwood Tarot on the way and I've got an Oracle deck. Oh my god, I can't remember what it's called right now. Um, anyway, you'll see it in a future video. <laughs> Thanks again, you guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye!